Hey ladies, so a few months ago I posted a video wearing this gorgeous fur trimmed dressing gown and a lot of you guys asked me where I got that gown from. I will put the link down below, but unfortunately, you know, it's, it's kind of pricey. It's between three to four hundred dollars. So I ended up stumbling across a video on YouTube, Amber Show, and she recreated her own gown. And I figured that I could do the same thing. So this is pretty much my attempt at making the gown that I have, the more expensive one. This is like a different version of that. So let's get started. So you will need ribbon. This is one and a half inches. You'll need a pair of scissors. You need thread and thread to match the actual color of your fur. So if you are getting a different colored fur, make sure you get thread that same color. I am using this round curved needle because it's very easy for me to sew through this material when the needle is curved. So I'm using this gorgeous, very soft and beautiful marabou fur boa. So there is a rope in between this boa and that's what I'm going to be sticking my needle through. As you can see, the needle is going through very easily because it's a rounded needle. I will be using this sheer mesh duster or dressing gown. I'll put the link down below. It was $39. As you can see, this gown is very plain before, but we're going to spruce it up. So first you need to thread your needle. I'm just going to thread my needle as you can see. So after you thread your needle, you would tie a knot at the end of your thread. So now I am taking one of the marabou fur boas. I am going to place it behind the neck of this gown and begin sewing. You got that other baby, yeah. Mm. But you got that other baby. Don't waste my time. So I'm sewing at the very top of this fabric. So just taking my needle and sticking it through the rope, I'm going to just continue that process. Now, since I have the expensive gown, I have it in front of me to actually see and compare you know to what I'm making and how the gown is supposed to look so I'm going to make it as close as I can to the actual gown that I wore in that video unfortunately it was four o'clock in the morning when I recorded this video and I did not feel like adding a train on the gown I was going to extend it and have like an exaggerated like wedding dress train but it was too late for me to do all that. So I just was like, forget it. Let me leave it the length that it is. I am five foot seven and a half, so I'm pretty tall. And this gown is a perfect length for me. It's not too short. It's actually a small little train on the back, which I like. So if you are shorter than me, this will be like an exaggerated train for you. If you're taller than me, then it might just fit you just right. So this particular dressing gown has a belt. We're just going to take that belt out of there because we're going to replace it with a satin ribbon. When you get to the bottom, just fold your marabou and continue the steps. Okay. So this is just one of the fur boas. I like the fact that it completed the whole left side of this dressing gown. I'm going to take a piece of the fur boa, I'm going to follow the natural wrist of it and continue sewing. Make sure you can actually fit your hand inside of the sleeve.
I feel the freshest vibes with you. Okay, so now we're all done. Now it's time to grab your satin ribbon because it's time to start making the belt. So girl, let your head down. Go on and move to the beat now. Let them follow your lead. Cause when my song comes on, we drop it low and shake. Bad girls represent this state. California craze. this to look fancy of course so when you get to the very end of your ribbon cut that in a diagonal line make sure you do that on both sides and of course i am giving away this dressing gown i already have one i don't need two and Valentine's Day is coming up. I will be sending this to somebody just in time for Valentine's Day. If you're interested in winning this dressing gown, please let me know down below. I have one question for you, just one question. Why do you follow Bejo Jai? I would like to know why you follow my channel. Please let me know down below in the comment section. I will be choosing one random winner to send this dressing gown to. Good luck. I hope to see you all in my next video. I love you guys so much and happy Valentine's Day. Bye guys. Ain't got no time, no time. Ain't got no time, no time, no time.